Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if you're brand new, if you haven't already please smash that subscribe button, it helps out the channel so much and we are continuing on with the Le Hogwarts Legacy in the last episode, if you haven't already please go back and watch it, it was quite an interesting episode, I've done two episodes so far, it's the third episode we've done a couple of classes, it's probably a bit of Hogwarts and we're just continuing on with the story and doing it at our own pace Let's begin. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Yes, I'm here, Professor. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? <laughs> Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Hmm. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've um, never heard spell? of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to So there's with two the Ollivanders then. Okay. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. That's good to know. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Ooh, Natty or Sebastian? I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students, and she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Yes, Professor. Right, let's check some of these. What's gear? Okay, so I've got some things already.
Uh, don't need glasses. About hat wear. Like the Peaky Blinders. That's not bad. About scarf. Uh, right for now, what magic potential? Well, equip. Okay. All right, that's that's all done. Well, inventory. Anything here? Got no beasts. Okay. Connections. Mm, can't have that yet. Challenges, quests, pages. Map quest to do. Okay, so the next one is nothing there. Okay, so the other ones are done. I'll post none. Send some five for now. Oh, I've done it, haven't I? Yeah. Alright. Let's get out of here and Go to to Professor. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It That's seems handy. as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors yeah. have agreed to do so as well. But first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first have a tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Okay, so I've got. So these are my spells. Oh crap, you can learn. Very painful spells. King ones as well. That thing I want to the nose. There we go. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Oh, 
I trust the preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it, come on. Get fast, fast, faster, faster. Done. Repair. Or... That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending Prepare something, on. have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly mm, symbolized yeah. heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Oh, so cute, I struck a cat. Alright, oh, now where am I going? Because I'm lost already. Track. Yes, please track me on where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, okay, I found a chest, that's cool. Always keep your eyes out for anything and everything. I hope I haven't kept yeah, you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Alright then. Let's get going. I wonder if Hagrid's hut is around. Oh, I just want to do some exploring, try and get some missions and then do some exploring and stuff like that. Oh. Learning what's what and where everything is.
Wow. The game keeps getting better and better every time. It's beautiful all the time. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Makes sense. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lakes well, over here. in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Hmm. Let's get as much as I can. Then. So, anyone I can say anything, just click them, pick up. Anything over here of interest? Like some more over here, I'll just collect them. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. So that's the forbidden forest, eh? Hmm. Maybe when I get my own wand, I might go explore a bit more, maybe. He's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already. That's the forbidden forest yeah. on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? Uh. The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. Is there going to be another cutscene to it, or is it just continuous? Because look at that as a view. Like, damn, they really have made a beautiful game here. So stunning. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that. Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. What? Okay. I said, if I see anything interesting, I'm just going to pick it up as I go along. Yes, yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. And collect stuff on the way. Leafing toad school caps. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. So as I'm getting used the way to the lake. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, we want to go exploring. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes oh, big as saucers. No, he's drunk as hell. What did Mr. Can't tell mean? that. Jelly guys. Dougly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh, Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I mm. have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Oh, it's a vehicle sign. Goblins and such. It might be nice to have a friend. What's this way? I'll keep that in mind. So that's the station. Was in Hogsmeade. Can we see? He was in Hogsmeade. Quite a lot. Like, oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. I'd like to read signs just so I know where I'm going and what's what. It's where the view is as well. You can see what's going on as well. And here we are. Wow. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer, and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Pockets. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, <coughs> spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to catch everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay, thank you. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Okay, open map. Wow. There is quite a bit. So there's a hair salon, jokes shop, to get my wand. Mr. Ollivanders. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Thank now, you. Come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. I know how they know what uh, one's perfect yes. for each person. Yes. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. <laughs> well, this is not like one. At all, is it? We'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, 
perhaps... Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Uh, nope. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here. Here, take it. Take it. Okay. So what do I do? Vine means uh, hmm. dragon heart string that serves as a core of a wand. Known for producing powerful magic, unicorn hair that serves as a core of a wand. Known for producing, yeah. I think I'd go for ah, that one. Phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. What's my wood? Well, not that kind of How wood, but. Redwood, red oak. Does it even do anything? Curious indeed. How intriguing. Let's go. Provinces, yeah. Curious indeed. This goes solid. Us there, let's go through the woods then. I'm gonna go for Ash, I think. How intriguing. Hmm. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Indeed. I wanna go for this one because this looks the coolest out of them all. But I'm not gonna go for I wanna go for a nice white. Yeah, let's go for that one then. Yeah, let's go for that. My four square wasn't pushing them properly along there. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. 
I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay. Now I've got my own wand. I see a couple of chests. Things. There's gonna be one here somewhere. There's a chest. So I can do some lock picking on that. That's fine. Nope, okay. Right, let's actually go and finish this quest stuff off. So it's Mr. Ollivander's, where's next? Oh, I really do need to learn this map. A joke shop. That's locked. Try every door I see that I can go into. Ah. An inquiry this is mind. Oh. Did not mean for that to happen. Okay, what is up here then? Another. I want to change my look quickly. <laughs> Gives me more defense. Okay. I'll I'm on for now. I'm going to be ridiculous, and I can see that happening. That's not bad, that scarf. What the vibe? Eh? Okay. I'll do for now. Not ridiculous that hat on. I think this is fine, but it gives me more defense on that for magic. Repair. No, no, I'm oh, not that. What was that one? Revelio. That's what I meant to do, Revelio. So it's got to be behind. Press one thing now, it's my fault.
What have I done to do those? Just done. I've got a new under bit. That's fine. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward yeah. to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Okay. Purchase. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. All right. Thank you. Don't say anything. Well, I'm gonna change the hat. I think. It looks stupid. Yeah, it gives me three plus plus friends, but I'll rather, I'll rather have that. Just because it looks. It looks better. Now where? Rebellion. I think, yeah. Yes, there is. Hmm. As these doors are locked at the moment. Sorry, Kat, I'd like to pet you, but I'm on a bit of a mission right now. Ah, potions. Rebellion. Is that anything here? Okay, so I've got that there. Brilliant. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Thank you. There's also something here. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. 
Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is oh, I'm Jack Pippin. Potions. At your service. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and hmm. I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's show you those recipes, shall we? Yes, please. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I'm all right, thank you. Nice little shop. Now I just need to go one more. Where's my last shop? You're not just giving that easily. Right, so there's a chest there. But there's a chest little here. Revelio. I think here. I love how I just don't care that people are walking in and out. Ooh, now I'm a bit worthless. I've lost myself. Where the hell do I go? Okay, okay, okay. Right, so that's there. Is it over here or something? No, I'm going out of town, I think now. Ah, oh, how do I go? And there's a chest behind here as well. Collecting all the chests. Right, so here's my hair shop. I don't want to get my hair cut yet. That's it.
Is this the person I need to speak to or not? No, I don't think so. Help! Don't know how I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> ah! Stress! Ah, that one up there. I think. Oh, I lost myself. Um, I just love how Magic just puts on underneath his arm and it's like, yeah, that's it. It's all gone somewhere. I've leveled up. Where am I supposed to be going? Where's magic? Where is this magic meat place? Thomas scrolls. Oh, I've completely gone the wrong way. As per usual, I have no sense of direction. But I have found a few chests. You come back here. place? Yeah, that is a place. Isn't it? I think here, no, okay. Okay, someone tell me where Hampers be going right now. Up there. Right, right. Kind of is out of town, but kind of not at the same time. Ay, 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 ay. I was going the right way, but I was like, nah, I didn't think that was anything special. Apparently, it is special. Well, hello there. Rebellion. Anything special here? Yeah, cut. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting that's me, off, yes. On the new fifth year. You must be positively reeling for me to all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. <laughs> but what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Oh, thank you. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Right, I'ma just see what I've got. Inventory I want to change, what if I that?
And equip that, the hat. Yeah, okay, let's just do that. Keep it all equal. Oh, there's something new down here. Is that legendary? Two hundred, two hundred. Oh, so they're both legendary stuff. I like the beat smoker because of more feet. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, I'm going to end it here. I say thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Helps that channel so much. And don't forget to help me grow my channel as best you can. Shares with friends and family or whoever else you want. Right, so then, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.